Tywin Lannister, Varys, and the Queen of Thorns, Lady Olena Tyrell, are giant players in the Game of Thrones. But Littlefinger is a giant among giants. He's the best of the best. One of the many tactics that Littlefinger has often employed is deception. Lies. Littlefinger lied to Catelyn about Jon Arryn and the dagger. And he lied to many others about many other things as well. He's very good at lying, but there is one lie that may cost him everything. In Storm of Swords, Littlefinger told Sansa that he took her mother's maidenhead. Since we already know from Lady Catelyn's inner thoughts that she lost her maidenhead to Lord Eddard the day that they conceived Robb Stark, it is natural for readers to assume that Littlefinger was lying to Sansa. But he may not have been, depending on how you define the word lie. A long time ago at River Run, Littlefinger got very, very drunk. He tried to kiss Lady Cat and she pushed him away. Her uncle, the Blackfish, then brought Littlefinger to his room, after which Liza snuck in and took advantage of Littlefinger's intoxicated state. Liza gave Littlefinger her maidenhead. While they did it, Littlefinger called her Cat. So, at least at that moment in time, Littlefinger believed that he was with Lady Cat. Fast forward to the current timeline and both Tyrion and Jaime tell Catelyn of how Littlefinger goes around court claiming to have taken her maidenhead. We witnessed him tell this lie directly to Tyrion at one point. But here's the thing. Littlefinger may actually believe that he slept with Catelyn, even though it never happened. That lie that Littlefinger first told himself so many years ago almost cost him his life against Brandon Stark. Here's the short version. Lady Cat was betrothed to Brandon Stark, but Littlefinger was so obsessed with her that he challenged Brandon Stark to a duel. Littlefinger begged Lady Cat for a favor he might wear, but she turned him away and gave her favor to Brandon instead. A pale blue handscarf she had embroidered with the leaping trout of River Run. But the pathetic Peter Baelish dueled Brandon Stark anyway, and Peter almost died from his wounds. That was the last time that Littlefinger and Catelyn saw each other until the day she arrived in King's Landing with the dagger. That event is evidence A, that when it comes to Lady Cat, Littlefinger is delusional. Here is another example. When Littlefinger heard that Brandon Stark was killed, he wrote Catelyn a letter. Catelyn burned the letter unread, so technically, we do not know what Littlefinger wrote to her. But odds are, Littlefinger started the letter with some fake condolences and then asked for her hand in marriage. Why? Because he's not only pathetic, he is a psycho. The show adaptation of Game of Thrones did a great job of highlighting this by adding this scene here. Littlefinger had betrayed Ned. Then, he showed up to Lady Cat's tent with Ned's bones. That would have been strange enough as is. But he is a psycho, so he took it to the next level. I've loved you since I was a boy. It seems to me that fate has given us this chance to... You've lost your mind! Get out! This type of madness unfortunately happens with a lot of dudes. They get messed up by the word that begins with P and rhymes with mussy. And considering how much George R. R. Martin loves his wordplay, it may not be just a coincidence that another word for that P word is cat. Littlefinger's Achilles heel is cat, or more specifically, cat's cat. And it just so happens that Littlefinger now sees cat in her daughter Sansa. So Sansa has become Littlefinger's Achilles heel which ties into the ghost of Highheart's dreams, Sansa slaying a giant in a castle of snow. That is a separate discussion, focusing more on Sansa than Littlefinger, but considering that they have already left the fine white stones of the Eyrie, odds are Sansa takes down Littlefinger at Winterfell. But the truth is, Littlefinger's downfall began the day that he began lying to himself about Cat. The worst lies are the lies that we tell ourselves.